Hello everyone. Welcome to Indian Online School. Hope you all are preparing well for your Olympiad exams. So students, as you all know that the exam dates are approaching, we need to really work hard to get good score in our Olympiad exam. So today we will practice one SOF sample paper. Okay? So we'll start with grade 8 SOF sample paper today. So students, in this SOF sample paper, you'll uh, in this SOF paper you will be getting 50 questions and the total marks for this is 60 marks. And the time allotted to solve this paper is 60 minutes. You have one hour's time to solve this paper. And coming to the different section in this paper, you'll be having four sections. First one is word and structure knowledge. In this, you'll be getting questions from grammar and vocabulary. Okay? So somewhere around 20 to 25 questions will be coming in this section, around 25 to 30. Okay? Next. Coming to the next section, it is about reading. You'll be given two passages. You have to read the passage carefully and you have to answer the questions that are being asked. Okay, this is the simplest and the easiest section of all, like the from the whole paper. Now, coming to the third section, it is about spoken and written expression. In this section, like two people will be talking, and you have to use the correct word to complete their conversation. Okay, now comes the last section, it is achiever section. In this section, you'll be getting questions from vocabulary, grammar, uh, conversation, everything. Okay, but here, this section will give you more marks compared to the other section. For the first 45 questions, you'll be getting one mark for each question. Whereas in achiever section, you'll be getting three marks for each question. So you have to be very careful while answering the questions in this section. Okay. Now let's move to the first uh, section. So this is our first section, word and structure knowledge. Okay. So for questions 1 to 24, choose the correct word or phrase to complete each sentence. For example, the question is like ice floats if you dash it in water. So it is a fact, okay. So the fact means it is in the simple present tense. So in simple present tense, we always have to use the main verb in V1 form, okay. So here the V1 form of the verb is drop, okay. So the correct answer for this question is drop. Ice floats if you drop it in water, okay. Option B is our correct answer. Likewise, you have to answer the all questions in this section. Okay, let's start with the first question. After many meetings and much study, the dash to move was made by the school board. After many meetings and much study, the decision to move was made by the school board. It can't be decidedly, it cannot be decisive, it cannot be deciding. It has to be in the noun form. So option C is the correct answer. After many meetings and much study, the decision to move was made by the school board. So option C is our correct answer. Next, second question. I think this bag is dash because I saw that girl put it down. So here we are referring to the position of something, like the position of bag of somebody. Okay. So here we have to use the possessive pronoun. And the possessive pronoun that we, uh, that we have to use for the girl, which is the third person, is hers. Okay. I think this bag is Hers because I saw that girl put it down. It can't be she, which is a proper personal pronoun, so we can't use it over here. Hers is the correct one. Her is not the possessive pronoun. She's, it's not the possessive pronoun. So the correct answer is option B. I think this bag is hers because I saw that girl put it down. Next. Often the biggest problem with, the, with my dash is that my style is weak. So it's obviously painting. Often the biggest problem with my painting is that my style is weak. Okay, option A is the correct answer. Now, the new gym building dash over the summer break and should be ready now, ready soon. So this is something that has started in the past. Okay, that was in the uh, that was started in the past and it should be ready soon. So it should be. The new gym building was being built over the summer break and should be ready soon. So option D is our correct answer here. Next, in the wild, it has been noticed that animals often behave very dash towards their newborns. Okay, how they behave toward their, towards their newborns? It should be gently. Okay, it can't be greatly, it can't be blandly. Blandly means in an uninterested way. Okay, so it can't be the true thing. And then fatly means richly. So this is not the correct answer. So correct answer is option A, gently. Now, dash, I hadn't been expecting any visitors. I was wearing pajama when the doorbell rang. Since 
I hadn't been expecting any visitors. I was wearing pajamas when the doorbell rang. So the correct conjunction here is option C, till. You can't use while, why, due to. It's not giving the correct grammatical meaning. So the correct answer here is option C, since. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. The new school bus is parked dash the corner dash the school. Now you have to use the appropriate preposition. Okay, if, I, if we go to the first option, uh, the new school bus is parked in the corner on the school. No, this is not giving the correct meaning. Next, the new school bus is par parked on the corner with the school. No, again, it's not giving the correct position. The new school bus is parked by the corner up the school. No, how can it be up the school? It is not the correct one. Now let's move to the next one. The new school bus is parked around the corner from the school. Yes, it is giving the correct meaning. Okay. So it should be around the corner from the school. Okay. So option D is correct answer. Now I will go to the concert dash. We can all go together. Here you have to keep putting a condition here. Okay. I will go to the school bus. I will go to the concert only if we can all go together. So option B is the correct answer. You should not eat fish when it's hot. Dash. So here you have to use the correct question tag. Okay. So the given sentence is in the negative form. You should not eat fish when it's hot. And we have the modal should here. So your question tag should be in a positive way. Okay. You should not. Should be. Should you. Okay. Should not. Should. You have to make the positive question tag here. So answer here is should you. I was told that Edwin dashed well this week, which is why he could not come. So this is being said something in the past. And two things have happened. What is, what is that? I was told that Edwin dashed well this week, which is why he could not come. This is happening. And one more thing is he has not come. Okay. Two things are happening in the past. So you have to use past perfect tense over there. I was told that Edwin had not been well this week, which is why he could not come. So option C is our correct answer. Next, prices are too high and they will remain dash until inflation comes down. Till inflation is there, they will remain high only. So it should be prices are they will remain so until inflation comes down. So this is our correct answer. Okay. Next, colonist would have left sooner dash they been asked to leave. Had they been asked to leave. Okay, this is the correct answer. We can't say if they been asked to leave. It is not giving the correct grammatical meaning. Okay, so the correct answer is option B. Next, that is really not good news. Why on earth dash have done such a thing? So it should be like that, that is really not good news. Why on earth would you have done such a thing? It can't be you would have. It can't be would have done. It's not giving the complete meaning. You have done such a thing. No, it should be in the past and should be option A. That is really not good news. Why on earth would you have done such a thing? Okay, option A is correct answer. All of dash birds in the forest are being killed by dash pollution. You have to use the appropriate article over here. Okay, all of when we are referring to the particular say a section of birds so it should be article definite article the okay all of the birds in the forest are being killed by pollution we don't require any article in the second blank it's uh, complete in itself okay so the correct answer is the and no article next there is concern that the standard of dash in europe is much worse than it was 10 years ago what is the standard of it should be standard of education okay so it is option b i was almost ready to go out but losing one of my shoes really threw dash spanner in the world so here comes an idiom and the correct idiom is a spanner in the works what do you mean by a spanner in the works it means the thing that spoils your plan which never lets your plan go in the smooth way okay so it should be a spanner in the works so correct answer is option c here I feel quite dashed after that long journey and I think I may have a cold too. So it means after a long journey, it's obvious that you get tired, right? So the correct phrasal verb that is giving the meaning of tired is 
run down. I feel quite run down after that journey, after that long journey, and I think I may have a cold too. So option B is the correct answer. It's dashed that the arts have been changed for practice this season. It's up with that. No, there's no proper meaning for with this phrasal verb. Now it's not on that R that. It is not on that the arts have been changed for practice this season. Okay, it's not on that arts. Okay, so it's option B, the correct answer. Okay, now I dash for arts if I had been allowed to. It's like I would have talked for arts if I had been allowed to. So option B is our correct answer. Next, we'll need to discuss dash. We should close the shop. So you have to take a decision. Okay, so it should be we will need to. Discuss whether we should close this shop. Okay, option B is our correct answer. Next, it is difficult to dash the reaction to the defeat. It means it is difficult to quantify the reaction to the defeat. Quantify means to express the reaction. Okay, it can't be count. We can't count the reaction. We can't develop the reaction. We can't recompense the reaction. Right. So it should be option A. Quantify the reaction to defeat. There is great dash between the new teacher and I. Attitude, no. Rapo, rapo means friendship kind of relationship. So it can be there is great rapo between the new teacher and I. So option B could be the correct answer. Okay. Next, the result of the will be dash in the next class. Damage, no. How can the results be damage? Underplayed, no. Scrutinize. Scrutinize means to examine, examine carefully. Okay, this can be an exposition note. So the correct answer will be option C. Scrutinize. The results of the experiments will be scrutinized in the next class. Option C is our correct answer. The choir sang in dash for the first time today. Unison means to song in a rhythm all together. Okay, so this can be the correct answer. The choir sang in unison for the first time today. For questions 25 and 26, choose the correct synonym of the given word. You have to find the similar meaning word, okay? Yeah, tamper. So, what is the meaning of tamper? Tamper means to interfere in others' matter, okay? So, you have to find a similar word that means the same thing. So, medal is again like interfering in others' matter. So, this can be the correct answer. Try out, employ, conscience. Conscience is something that tells you about which is right or wrong, okay? So, the correct answer is option A, medal. Next. Revamp. Revamp means to improve something, to change something so that it looks better, attractive. Okay. So, mm -hmm. destruct, no, it can't be the correct meaning. Overhaul is something like uh, to repair something so that it looks better. So, yes, this, uh, this could be the answer. Evolve is to develop something in an advanced way. No, deride is to laugh at somebody. So, the correct answer would be uh, uh, option B, overhaul. Okay. So, option B is the correct answer. Next, for questions 27 and 28, choose the correct antonym of the given word. Rigor. What do you mean by rigor? The, qua the quality of being strict. Okay, being serious. That is called rigor. Rediscovery, you know what is discovery. And accountability is something like giving a, a valid reason for something. Laxity is lack of uh, strictness. So, yes, the opposite of rigor can be option C, laxity. Okay. Next, rowdy. Rowdy is one who behaves in a very noisy way. Okay. And restrained uh, is like a uh, calm way, okay? Somebody who is behaving in a calm way, restrained way, okay? So, yes, opposite of rowdy can be option A, restrained, okay? Next, for questions 29 and 30, choose the option with correct spelling. What is the spelling of the word that means to pay someone? To pay someone means uh, to remunerate, okay? So, option D, R-E-M-U-N-E-R-A-T-E -E is the correct answer. Option D is our answer. What is the spelling of the word that means language used in ordinary conversation? It is colloquial. Okay, it is colloquial. C O double O Q U I A L. Option A is our correct answer. Okay, this is about the section one. Okay, students. So now we'll go to the second section. It's about reading the given passage. Okay, you have to read the passage carefully and you have to answer the questions that are being asked. Okay. So for questions 31 to 35, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. The passage is like, 
Experts predict myopia or nearsightedness will reach epidemic proportions by the end of the decade, with over a, with over a third of the world's population requiring glasses or contact lenses. However, if a team of ophthalmologists from a medical center in Jerusalem have their way, the crisis may be averted with special nano drops created to correct refractive errors responsible for nearsightedness, farsightedness, or blur vision. engineering and nanophonetics at Bar Ilan University, who worked on the project, says the procedure requires three simple steps. Prospective patients will begin by using a smartphone app to measure their eyes' refractive index. A laser pattern based on the app's calculations will then be created and projected onto the surface of each eye. The final step will be to put a predetermined number of the drops with certain, uh, which contain special nanoparticles into each eye. The researcher explains these nanoparticles go into the shallow laser pattern generated in the surface objects inside those patterns. This corrects the visual problem the user has. The best part is the procedure can be conducted at home without the presence of a medical doctor. The team leader asserts the technical tec the technique is far less pain uh, the technique is far less painful and invasive than laser surgery. It is a new concept for correcting refractive problems. The treatment has thus far uh, far only been successfully tested on animals. The team which hopes to start human trials soon believes it will take at least two years to be available on the market. In addition to ensuring that they are safe and effective for humans, the researchers still have to determine the doses needed to correct the different conditions and also how frequently the treatment will have to be administered to keep the patient's eyesight sharp. The researchers say the rise in myopia in kids can be attributed to the increasingly large amount of time spent on computers and phones. Studies have proven that just two to three hours of daily sunshine exposure can reduce vision related issues set aside your digital devices and head out for a bike ride run or stroll it will not help it will not only help you see better but also make your healthy healthier okay this was about the passage now let's go to the questions choose the best title or heading for the passage so the passage is about a drop away from perfect vision. Okay, option A is our correct answer. What is used to phone that is used to monitor the eye? Where should it all take place? It should take place at home without any medical doctor requirement. Okay. Now, how long will it be before the drops can be purchased? It will take around two years' time. Okay. Now, the last question: What does the word stroll? mean in the final paragraph stroll means uh, to walk uh, in a relaxed way okay so it's like deliver no amble uh, yeah amble is again like to walk in a is option b now let's go to the next passage for questions 36 to 40 read the passage and answer the questions in january 2020 as amazon in incorporated stock sold to an all-time high its founder and ceo jeff bezos who owns 70% of the company, dethroned Microsoft billionaire Bill Gates to become the world's richest person. Since then, the company's stock has risen an additional 20%, increasing the entrepreneur's net worth from $105 billion to $125 In perspective, that is more than the GDP of over 125 of the world's 195 countries. The incredible journey began in 1994 when Bezos was working as a software engineer for a global investment management company. One day, while surfing the internet for the new investment ideas, there, uh, he read that the World Wide Web usage was increasing by 2,300% every month. The impressive uh, statistic gave him an idea of what if he could use this fast-growing new medium to sell, to sell goods to the public. Though um, mean leaving his nice job that came with a six-figure salary. The then 30-year-old was convinced he was on the right track. After considering about 20 potential products, including software and CDs, Bezos decided to sell books. They were easy to package, hard to damage, and most importantly, his virtual store could offer all of the millions of book titles available. Some, uh, something, uh, something even the biggest physical bookstores were unable to accommodate. After scouting out locations across the U.S., 
McKenzie chose the Seattle, Washington metropolitan area for their new venture. In addition to being home to a big pool of high-tech talent that would be needed to build the online store, it, it was also close to uh, in Grand Book Group's Oregon warehouse. Bezos and five employees began building the world's first virtual bookstore inside the uh, garage of his home. The first order of business was to find a suitable name after his first choice was misunderstood. He was in July 1995, Amazon.com opened its door to customers with over a, bill, over a million book titles. They initially rang a bell to celebrate every sale. However, the fun tradition had to be abandoned within a few months as book sales escalated sharply. After expanding the offerings to include CDs and videos, Bezel, Bezel sent out 1,000 emails to existing customers asking them what else they would like delivered to their doors. In 2005, recognizing the, that customers wanted their orders quickly and the return rates, Bezos introduced the subscription-based Amazon Prime. In 2012, he made the $1.99 annual membership even more attractive with Amazon Video, which in addition to streaming movies and television shows, also produces original shows. In 2017, the company made its first foray into physical stores with the acquisition of leading organic grocery chain uh, whole ch uh, uh, organic grocery chain whole foods and business is not done yet in january 2008 amazon and now other companies to form a single company to provide us workers and families with better health insurance options than what is currently available so this was about second passage now let's go to the question Choose the best title or heading for the passage. It's obviously the journey of Amazon. So option B is the correct answer. What industry did uh, Bezos work in before setting up Amazon.com? He was working as a fin in the financial company. Okay. So, so next. Going to the next. Why did Bezos email his customers? To sell fewer CDs and more books? No. To get bigger subscription? No. To get uh, to develop better marketing? No. To get more ideas? Okay. Option D is our correct answer. Amazon has moved from a bookshop to what? Uh, to helping for no selling cars? No making TV shows? Yes, it is making TV shows. So option C is our correct answer. Now, what is the meaning of the word foray in the last paragraph? It's about a venture. Okay, new project. So option A is the questions okay now let's move to the third section which is about spoken and written expression so for questions 41 to 45 choose the correct option to complete each conversation 41 just i've finished uh, i have i visited quite a few tropical countries but dash i have never seen a crocodile before uh today so it is uh, the correct adverb we have to use over here like I have visited quite a few tropical countries. I have never seen a crocodile before today. So it is option B. Now, Bambi, I'm never allowed to get dash anything with my brother and his friends. So you have to use the correct word here. It is like in on to get in on means to get involved with his friends. Okay, like uh, at it. No, it's not about a point. Up with. No, down to no. So it should be in on. I'm never allowed to get in on anything with my brother and his friends. Like he's not allowed and his friends. So option A is our correct answer. Next, Fran. What position will you come in the competition? Derek, I honestly haven't a dash and don't really care either. So it's like the Fran, the person Fran is asking, like, what position will you come in competition? So it's obviously not. Nothing to be like, uh, it's not a certain thing, right? So it should, it should be, I honestly haven't a clue and I don't really care either. It should be option C. What is the name of the team that won the league? Dave, I don't know. Dash, it's the tiger. So here he's saying that he, don't, he doesn't know. I don't know. Dash, it's the tiger. So he's guessing. So when he's unsure about something, the correct uh, uh, conjunction that you, you have to use here is perhaps when you are doubtful of something okay so it should be perhaps it's the tiger okay option d is our correct answer 
Ali, dash on, arri uh, on arriving early was never going to work out no it's like never going to work out so it must be the plan right so planning on arriving early was never going to work out for this trip option c is our correct answer can't be going on arriving no it's not giving the correct meaning getting on arriving it's not the correct answer and thinking is also not not the right answer so it's option c planning on arriving early was never going to work out for this trip so this is our second, uh, sorry, third section. Now, I'll let you a section. So as I've told you, this section, in this section, you'll be getting three marks for each question. So you should be very careful while answering this section, okay? For questions 46 and 47, choose the correct option to win in the blank. No sooner had the doors opened, dash all the flies came into the living room here you have to use the correlative conjunction the conjunctions that we use in pair no sooner what is a pair with no sooner it is obviously than t h a i n t h a n then open then all the flies came into the living room so it's option c next i don't really see how this could be dash for so long and in such an incredibly secure environment okay so it should be i don't really see how this could be happening could be is given so something is continuing okay so it should be happening i don't really see how this could be happening for so long and in such an incredibly secure environment so option d is our correct the correct antonym of the given word variegated what do you mean by variegated something made of different like different colors okay and uh, options are empty trampled plain vibrant okay so something which is made of different colors the opposite of that could be plain okay so option c is our correct answer now choose the correct synonym of the given word gregarious what do you mean by gregarious the person who enjoys being with people surrounded by people it can't be the correct one reliable means dependent so sociable yeah this can be our answer next retrievable believable no so the answer option b is our correct answer gregarious means social sociable now the last question choose the correct option to complete the conversation dravinda it's not it's not such a big thing it's not such a big deal you just have to get dash and look forward okay so when something is being said like you just have to get dash and look if you have to recover from that thing okay so the correct phrasal verb will be option a you have to get over it and look forward so option a is our correct answer getting over it means overcoming from that thing recovering from that particular disease or problem okay so this is about the paper hope you all understand this paper